After the successful landing of Chandrayaan-3, it's time for Aditya L1, India's sun exploration mission. On 2nd of September, the Indian Space Research Organization will be sending its spacecraft to the sun under mission Aditya L1 at 11.50 am from Sriharikota. While NASA and the European Space Agency have previously placed orbiters to study the sun, it will be the first such mission for India. In previous videos, we told you all about the Aditya L1 mission, well you can watch them here. And in this video, we will tell you all about other solar missions launched by space agencies of different countries. But before that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the Money Control YouTube channel. Let's talk about USA's solar missions. The first time ever that a spacecraft touched the sun, the Parker Solar Probe was launched by US agency NASA in August 2018. In December 2021, Parker flew the sun's upper atmosphere, the corona, and sampled particles and magnetic fields there. In February 2020, NASA and European Space Agency together launched the Solar Orbiter to collect data to find out how the sun is created and control the constantly changing space environment throughout the solar system. Other active solar missions by NASA are Advanced Composition Explorer launched in August 1997, Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory in October 2006, Solar Dynamics Observatory in February 2010, and the Interface Region Imaging Spectrograph launched in June 2013. Also in December 1995, NASA and ESA and JAXA, which is Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, jointly launched the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO. Let's move on to Japan's solar missions. JAXA launched its first solar observation satellite, Hinotori, which is also known as Astro A, in 1981. The objective was to study solar flares using hard X-rays, according to JAXA's official website. The other solar exploratory missions of Japan are Yoko, Solar A, which was launched in 1991, SOHO, as I told you earlier, and Transient Region and Coronal Explorer Trace, along with NASA in 1998. In 2006, Hinote Solar B was launched, which was the successor to Solar A, the orbiting solar observatory. The objective of Hinote and observatory satellite is to study the impact of the Sun on the Earth. Now let's come to Europe's solar missions. In October 1990, the ESA launched Ulysses to study the environment of space above and below the poles of the Sun. Other than solar missions launched in collaboration with NASA and the ZAXA, the ESA launched PROBA 2 in October 2001. PROBA stands for Project for Onboard Autonomy. Onboard PROBA 2 were four experiments, two of which were solar observation experiments. Now let's talk about China's solar missions. The Advanced Space-Based Solar Observatory was successfully launched by the National Space Science Center, Chinese Academy of Sciences, on October 8, 2022. Now, what are the upcoming solar missions? ESA will send its solar missions next. These missions include Proba 3, which is scheduled for 2024, and SMILE, which is scheduled for 2025. Now that Aditya L1 is all set to take off, ISRO released some details about where the Aditya L1 will be placed and how it will work. ISRO said, and I quote, The spacecraft will be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point, L1, of the Sun-Earth system, which is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. A satellite placed in the halo orbit around the L1 point has the major advantage of continuously viewing the Sun without any occultation or eclipses. This will provide a greater advantage of observing the solar activities and its effect on space weather in real time. Now, what is the Lagrange point? It is kind of a parking space for space. NASA defined it as a position in space where the gravitational pull of two large masses precisely equals the centripetal force required for a small object to move with them. These points in space can be used by spacecraft to reduce fuel consumption needed to remain in position. Basically, this means that at that point, the gravitational attraction and repulsion between two heavenly bodies is such that an object placed between them will effectively stay in the same relative position while moving with them. 
Well, hope you found this video informative and for more such content, keep watching Money Control.